Hey guys, it's Beta Day 3, August the 3rd. I am doing school shopping today. Today I think it's a less tax-free day. Um, if it is tax-free, I'm not sure. I haven't been out yet. Yesterday was tax-free. Didn't find out that today's tax-free too. I think it was either the second or third or the first or second. I'm not sure. I'm hoping it is because I do plan on doing quite a bit of shopping today because I didn't do that much as much as I wanted to do yesterday because I had to do a few other things. So, um, wait for my husband and my other kids to come on and jump in my van and we'll be on our way to Walmart, Target, and Kmart. Yes! <laughs> yeah, my daughter's Walmart. excited. Oh, before that, we're going to McDonald's. <laughs> anyway, my tongue is red because I'm eating candy. Talk to you in a little bit. Bye. Alright, so I'm going to end today's vlog with we went shopping. It is now 5 o'clock in the evening. I am tired. We're going to order pizza and I'm going to chill. You don't have to say for this one. Okay, so Didi wants to say. I'm going to more. Never mind. We ain't doing it today. Anyway, like I said, I'm tired. I'm ready to go to sleep. I'm going to take a nap. If they talk about she wants to go. School. Tech. Are you ready Tech. for school? Tech. No, Tech. I mean, Tech. did I get everything? I got most of what's the stuff you. I got most of what you need for school so far. But okay, so we still ain't finished shopping now. We got a few more things to get. I want to get these shoes before they go back to forty-five dollars. But you just got a pair of shoes today, so you need another pair. Huh? You just got a pair of shoes, but you need another pair. Those, I don't like those. That's a one-way ticket to... I need a bully. But you're the bully. I'm not the bully. Yes, you are. You well, some of the, to most of the kids in school, but then there's other ones that want to backfire and not go after them, and then they want to cry. Okay, so, Ebony, are you ready for school? Um... And this is probably going to bug me. Over and over and over. This is going to be your first year of middle school, right? Yes. <laughs> Don't worry. She not so so how has your day gone today, Moo Moo? Okay, so if you make any sense of this video, yeah, we're tired. <laughs> we got up early today. We've been shopping. We've been running around town. I have purchased uniforms, clothes for all the boys, girls, my high school daughter, my high school age, school age. She's in high school now. She's, yeah, she, she wore a uniform now. She's wearing regular clothes. So I got clothes for her. We have gone $8 over budget, and I still haven't bought pencils, book bags for two of the kids, and I need to buy shoes again, apparently. So, yeah. Bye, guys. See you tomorrow. Hey, guys. So, today's tip is going to be on minimum. Becoming a minimalist. Um, number one tip is common sense. Basically, set a goal. I know that seems very simple, but set realistic goals. If you decide you want to clear out your closet and only have things only have no. well like my husband he wants to have a specific number of clothing he feels that seven outfits is enough me and him are going back and forth on that I think 100 pieces of clothing for a person is enough he thinks seven outfits per person is okay no. we have not come to a compromise as of yet <laughs> so we haven't made we haven't made progress in that area as much yeah. as we want but set a goal if you want to, let's say, only have clothing hanging in half your closet, once you get to half your closet, you still have clothing, Tip. decide on what you're donating, decide on what's trash, and do it then. Do not stop and say, I'll do it for another day, or I'll have to deal with that later, because if you do, you're going to mess up. Another tip is, don't do it when your kids are napping. Wait until you actually have a set time. Don't think, okay, they're taking a nap because you know what? They're going to wake up 20 minutes early. You're whispering. Alright, guys. Bye.